guys, it's Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about persisting and believing and which one you need to do and do you need to believe and is there going to be consequences if you don't believe? Listen, you don't have to believe it. You literally do not have to believe a word you are saying. Ow, ow. I like hit an artery or something. Honestly, I don't even know what an artery is, so I shouldn't even be talking. Anyways, I'm going to teach you why you don't have to believe, why so many people think you have to believe, why you actually don't have to believe, and the just, just watch the video. I'll explain everything. Ow! A lot of people believe that you need to believe your affirmations in order for them to manifest. And listen, that's not true. No. Nah. Does believing them help in a certain aspect? Yes, I will explain that later in the video, but it is not like if you don't believe you're not gonna manifest. Or if you if you don't believe and you aren't 100% believing your affirmations, you're not gonna manifest. It's just not true. Come here, Jennifer. He does not wanna be happy. The goal is to persist. The goal is not to believe your affirmations. And there's so many reasons why that is true. One being, oh my God, Juniper. Anyways, moving on. The reason you don't have to believe your affirmations is because consciously you're gonna know that what you're affirming is not true. I mean, think about it. If you're affirming for your SP to like you, or you're, and they literally told you, hey, I don't like you, I don't wanna be with you, you're not gonna believe it right off the bat that they told you that because obviously you're upset, you have feelings, you have a logical side of your brain. That is how your brain works. You, you're, you're logical. You're conscious of it. You're conscious of what you're thinking. You're conscious of your thoughts. And then you have another side that is not conscious of what you're thinking and is just believing what you are telling it. Your subconscious does not have eyes. It will never have eyes. It will, it has never have eyes. It only believes what you tell it. So if you're feeding it so much information over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, it's gonna be like, oh wow, new information updated. Ding. It's gonna believe it. It's going to believe it. If you persist and if you continuously affirm for something, it will believe it. Even if you don't. Even if consciously you're like, I totally just lied to myself. I totally just lied to myself. It doesn't matter. Because your subconscious doesn't know that. It, does, it has no concept of lies. It has no concept of what's true and what's false. It just, ha it just knows that what you tell it is fact period. That's why the goal is to persist and it is not to believe because you don't need to believe. Now, is believing good? Yeah. I mean, it, it makes it a lot easier to not spiral. And in my opinion, like that's one of the main things why it's good. Like if you believe what you're affirming, you're going to have less spirals because if you believe in it, you're not going to be worrying and doubting about, oh my God, is this true? That is what it is helpful in. It is helpful in not doubting. It is helpful and maybe feeling more emotions. But other than that, you don't need to believe. It is more like extra credit than the standard. I actually see a lot of people create resistance with... Anyone want some goddamn cats? I promise that I love my cats. It just took me so long to set everything up <laughs> to film and then they kept messing it up. And it was, it was like 3 a.m. when I filmed that and I was at my wits end with everything i actually see a lot of people create resistance with this type of thing because they'll stress about oh my god i don't believe what i'm saying like i don't believe it and then they start stressing that they can't manifest and then you're affirming you can't manifest which is totally not true and believing it is only something that gives extra credit and will never hold you back from your desire so it's, it's just creating extra resistance that it does not matter so the goal is to persist the goal is to continuously say your affirmations and live in the end the goal is not to believe it the goal is to persist think of believing as extra credit but that is it for today's video i am super happy that you guys watched this video and i miss you guys and i hope you guys are all doing well let me know if you were one of those people that stressed about believing it because used to be me but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe if you like this video if you didn't that's totally fine you do not have to do either of those things or any of those things but yeah as always, watching this video has helped you manifest. Say it with me. Watching this video has helped me manifest. Watching this video has helped me manifest. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.